Do you find yourself constantly noticing the things you don't like about your home? Maybe it's the clutter on the counter or the paint color you can't stand on the walls, or perhaps what was meant to be a starter home or even a temporary rental now feels like a place you'll be stuck in forever. The truth is, the more you focus on the negatives, the harder it becomes to appreciate the space you're in. But what if you could shift your perspective and start seeing the good in your home no matter its imperfections? In this video, we're going to explore 10 simple things to be grateful for in your home, even if it's not your dream home, so you can start feeling more content and at peace with the space you have right now. Let's dive into 10 things you can be grateful for in your home, and even if it's not perfect, I encourage you to see if at least Three of these resonate with you in your current space. One, a cozy bed to retreat to. Your bed is more than just a place to sleep. It's where you rest, recharge, and find comfort at the end of the day. Whether it's a well-loved mattress, soft sheets, or your favorite pillows, the sense of peace and relaxation your bed brings is worth gratitude. Number two, natural light streaming through the windows. The sunlight coming through your windows can lift your mood and energize your day. It's a small but powerful source of warmth and brightness that often goes unnoticed. Be grateful for the light that fills your home and makes spaces feel more welcoming. Three, a functional kitchen for nourishing meals. Your kitchen is where you nourish your family, create memories, and experiment with new recipes. Whether it's the sturdy countertops or the reliable stove, being grateful for a kitchen that helps you feed and care for loved ones is key. Four, a favorite reading nook or quiet spot. Whether it's a comfy chair by the window or a cozy corner of the living room, having a dedicated space to unwind with a book, journal, or cup of tea or coffee can bring immense joy and peace. Are you ready to transform your home but not sure where to start? Join me for my free class, Embrace Your Space, where I'll share my proven process for creating a home you love to live in. In this workshop, you'll learn the exact steps I've used for years to turn cluttered chaos into beautiful, organized areas in my home. I'm also going to teach you my foundational step to loving the home you live in, including my secret for loving your home as it is right now, even if it's nowhere near being your dream home. Don't miss out on this opportunity to start your journey toward a home that reflects your style and feels like you. Sign up for the free class today at homemadelovely.com forward slash embrace your space YT and take the first step toward creating the home you truly love to live in. Number five, reliable utilities heat, water, electricity, etc. We often overlook how much ease and convenience modern utilities provide. Be grateful for the hot showers, warm house in winter, or even the electricity that powers your everyday tasks. Number six, the scent of home. Think of the smells that define your home. Freshly brewed coffee, a favorite candle, or the scent of a home cooked meal. These familiar aromas create a sense of warmth and comfort that you can cherish every day. The seventh thing to be thankful for is a safe space for your family. Your home is your sanctuary, a safe place where your family can gather, relax, and grow. Whether you live in a large house or a small apartment, the sense of security your home provides is invaluable. Number eight is personalized touches and decor. From photos of loved ones to items you've collected over the years, the personal touches in your home tell your family's unique story. Be grateful for the decor choices that reflect who you are and bring a sense of identity to your space. Number nine is greenery and blooms. Whether real or faux, having greenery and blooms around the house can bring life and vibrancy to your home. Plants not only purify the air if they're real, but any kind can also add a calming, natural beauty to any room. And the tenth thing to be grateful for in your home is space for gathering and connection. Whether it's your dining room, living room, or backyard patio, having a space where family and friends can gather, share meals, and connect is something to treasure. These shared moments create lasting memories that make a house feel like a home. So there you have it, 10 simple things to be grateful for in your home. 
Number one, a cozy bed to retreat to. Number two, natural lighting streaming through your windows. Number three, a functional kitchen for nourishing meals. Number four, a favorite reading nook or quiet spot. Number five, reliable utilities like heat, water, and electricity. Number six, the comforting sense of home. Number seven, a safe space for your family. Number eight, personalized touches and decor. Number nine, greenery and blooms that bring life to your space. And number 10, space for gathering and connection with loved ones. It's easy to get caught up in the things we don't like, but when we take a moment to appreciate the comfort, safety, and little joys our home already provides, it can truly shift our perspective. Gratitude helps us see the abundance we already have, no matter how imperfect our space might feel. If you enjoyed this video and found inspiration in these 10 things to be grateful for in your home, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos focused on creating a space you love.